All right, this is chapter 10, lesson 1, dealing with statistics. Um, so let me give you just a brief overview of what statistics are. Statistics um, is a branch of math that, that involves collecting, organizing, and interpreting data. So we're turning things into numbers and then using those numbers to then hopefully predict and, and interpret what's going on. A um, couple words that you need to be aware of as we do this. Uh, the population. The population is the the group being studied. For So, for example, um, you might take the population as being our middle school. Um, so if, the, if our middle school or our seventh grade middle school building was the population, we'd be talking about the entire group of, of students. Then when I talk about the sample, well, a sample, a lot of times, instead of talking to be everybody surveying everybody or getting data from everybody, we take a sample. So we only choose a certain number or possibly some way of getting not everybody because it's just kind of it's not feasible um, or convenient to be able to, to get to talk to everybody or get data from everybody so we choose a sample from them and things about sample that you should understand is they it needs to be representative of the population so I can't just choose you know my three best friends and say well those that's gonna be the population I talk to we need to be talking to some uh, to a, a a representative sample that would represent the entire building and then it needs to be chosen randomly so like again once again I can't just choose my three best friends because it's not random I need some way of choosing the the sample in a random way so I get a representative group that would talk about my entire my entire population will represent them um, well alright so I'll be doing the guided practice off page 796 so they have a survey here that t is talking about the careers for different students out of a out of a middle school and um, they've taken a sample of students in this middle school and 17 students plan on having a career in entertainment, 14 in education, 11 in med uh, medicine, um, 6 in public service and 2 in sports. So then they want the probability based on a sample because once again we're going to use this data from a sample and we're going to we're going to interpret it and use it to, to talk about the entire school. So what's the probability that if you pick somebody at random out of the building that they would be wanting to go into public service? Well, based on our sample, public service is 6 out of, and then I'd have to add these up, 31, 43, 42, excuse me, 50. It would be 6 out of 50. I would simplify that down to 3 out of 25. There's a 3 out of 25 chance. You could write that as a... Um, fraction as a decimal or percent, so there's a fraction. You could divide that, which is going to get you uh, 0.12. You can move it two places, and that would be a 12% chance that you're going to get somebody um, in randomly that is in the public or is interested in the public service. So, what's the probability I choose somebody at random and they are interested in going into education? Well, I have a, would have a 14 out of 25 chance. So, once again, that is simplified, but you could divide it um, did I just choose the wrong one? Education 14. Yeah, that's okay. So 14 out of 25, 14 out of 50, excuse me. I'm going back to this 25. I looked at that 25. There were 50 in our population, sorry. 14 out of 50, which is 7 out of 25, excuse me. Now I could divide that and, of course, move the decimal two places. You're going to get, that's a... 28% or 0.28 chance of choosing somebody that's wanting to go into education. Let's go to sports, and I will remember this time that we're out of 50. So out of sports, uh, sports is 2 out of 50. It's a probability, so 1 out of 25. If I simplify that, divide that, you're going to get 0 0.04, which is 4%. Probability of those specific things. Now, number 4 is where I really like the power of this, is, is being able to then extend it to the entire um, the entire population. So how many out of 400 will choose education? Well, here's what I know about education so far, is if I go back to education, that was 14 out of 50. I'm going to go ahead and label it, because I always tell you guys to, out of total. So there were 14 education out of 50 total, but we want to grow this out to a population of 400 total. So we're ready to multiply and divide. So when you multiply and divide, you're going to find out that there are about 112 students in the entire population of 400 if it's at the same probability. All right, so let's try that again. Number five says, how many out of 500 will enter the medical field? So this must be uh, a bigger building, but when I go back to the medical field, there's 11 out of 50 that want the medical field. 11 out of 50 total. And 
I'm saying I want to grow this out to 500 total students, so grow it out to the entire population. Multiply, divide, or you can realize they just took it times 10, so that'd be 110 that chose the medical field. Okay? Um, last question. Uh, they have a circle graph here. It says the results of a poll which 60,000 teens responded to, so 60,000 teens predict how many of the approximate 28 million in the United States would buy a music CD if they were given $20. So once again, it's in a circle graph, which means they've already taken it to a common denominator of 100. They want to find out what percent or what, how many of the entire population would choose buying a CD. Well, it's a percent problem. 32 out of 100 are going to choose a CD. Remember, this is the percent that choose CD. This is the total, all 100% of the people. And then they talked about how many people there actually were. Um, we want this to represent 28 million people. So we're ready to multiply and divide because that's my total that I really want. And we're going to find out what per, what amount of them would like to buy a CD when it's 32%. So I would multiply and divide. Um, and then, well, maybe I just ought to do that. Let's do that real quickly. 32 times 28 million divided by 100. You get about... 8,960,000 would be the number of people that we would expect in the entire population that would want to purchase a CD with their $10 gift card.